stress box is located right here in a mesquite tree. Today we're in my backyard where we have a nest box for Lucy's warblers and we have a camera that does a live feed of what's happening inside the nest box. The nest box that we see today is a triangle design is what we call it. We tested out different designs, but this is the one that they kept coming for. We can help our local birds by creating a wildlife-friendly yard, the typical food, water, but also safe places to nest. So by installing a nest box, you provide that vital part. Around the Tucson Valley, we have saguaros and big mature trees that are the main providers are cavities, and cavities are just holes that are created by the woodpeckers. Those are the primary cavity nesters, and you also have the secondary cavity nesters. Those are the birds that nest in a hole, in a cavity, but they can't excavate them themselves. What we usually see in the saguaro is just this opening, and we have no idea how deep that actually gets, but this is what is hidden from view, is this really, big cavity that is used by some of the larger species like kestrels and screech owls. Many birds around here are suffering from habitat destruction as our Tucson metropolitan area is increasing and urbanization is a phenomenon that's not going away. There's just a lot of competition for this prime real estate for the birds. So by putting up a nest box, you are decreasing that competition. You're also providing a safe place to nest. We try to make it really easy for our local residents here to find all the resources they may need if they're interested in installing a nest box. We have them for sale at our nature shop on University Boulevard. We also provide plans if you wanted to build one yourself. Whether you're in the valley in Tucson or on top of Mount Lemon, pretty much any place has a cavity nester nearby that could use a nest box. For example, if you have mesquite trees around, then a Lucy's warbler nest box would be the right choice. If you're more in like the desert area, then a screech owl box would be a good choice for you. If you're in the grasslands, a kestrel box is a really good one to put up there. Many people that come to Arizona from other states, they might not think of birdhouses as a suitable thing for Arizona heat, but Tucson Audubon has done a lot of different studies testing ways to responsibly install a nest box. For example, we recommend that the nest box is installed in the shade of a tree or just shielded from the afternoon sun, the western sun. Something that we recently started doing is putting up web cameras inside the nest boxes and that really allowed us a glimpse into the secretive part of our cavity nesters' lives. Every spring, we make sure to stream the live cameras on our website and anyone interested in seeing this footage is able to go and see it. Installing an S-Box has many different benefits to the birds, but also the people. It has a strong recreational tie to being able to relax and watch the birds. And who doesn't like baby birds, right? So it's so much fun to host a family in your own backyard.